Hey guys, Michelle here from Sparkle Me Pink, and today I'm going to be demo and reviewing the new Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Nail Polish in Top Coat. I got this in a duo set at CVS. It was on sale, plus I had like extra care bucks. It was a really cool deal. I talked about it on my Instagram if you want to go check that out in more detail. But basically, I want to show you guys how it applies. I've never used these before. This is going to be like a first impression kind of thing as well. And I want to show you how it applies and then check back in with you guys maybe in a couple days, maybe when it starts to wear away or chip or maybe if it doesn't. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. The one thing I'll say right off the bat is it does not come with a base coat. And there really isn't much instruction here um, on how to do this. It just says... Apply two coats of the Miracle Gel color. Activate curing with the top coat. No base coat needed. No lamp needed. Meaning you don't need like an LED lamp or a UV lamp to cure this. The top coat is what cures this. So it is a best idea to get the set of the two, the color and the top coat, if this is your first time using them, um, if this all goes well. Okay, and I picked out this beautiful, gorgeous, royal blue color. It's just totally up my alley right now. I will say I am not a professional nail artist. I do not have the most gorgeous nail beds or anything, so don't judge me. I'm not a nail aficionado. I just love nail polish, and I saw this, and I thought of you guys, and I wanted to share with you how it works or doesn't work. I don't know. I have high hopes though, because if this works, this could be like an amazing discovery for me. I love gel manicures, but it does take, even with the LED lamp when it's like 15 seconds or whatever it is, it's still time. Like I have to do a base coat and then a color and then a top coat and then a treatment and then make sure it looks all good. And then it's just kind of a little more of a hassle where this is like a polish, polish go. So I'm going to start off by using a non-acetone nail polish remover on my nails just to remove any oil or residue from, you know, lotion from earlier in today. I just washed them, but, you know, just in case, just to have a nice clean slate for the blue polish and we'll get started. Okay, so right now I am just going to take that non-acetone nail polish remover and clean off my nails. By the way, the name of the color that I'm using is Tidal Wave, and that's what the bottle looks like. It's very thin. I mean, it still looks opaque, but it's a very thin formula, which could be good because then it'll settle out nicely. Let's go ahead and try this. Some of the girls I was talking with online said to really try and not get this on your skin because it's really hard to remove it. It kind of makes it like crust up a little bit. So I'm trying my best to be as neat as possible or removing it as soon as I see it. Gorgeous color seems to be almost dry. I don't know. It's very shiny already. It's kind of hard to tell if it's dry or not. I, I'm going to try and touch. Okay. So it seems pretty dry. Let's go ahead and do a second coat here. Make it nice and thin. I don't want it to be too chunky or unable to dry properly. Okay. So far I'm totally loving this and it looks just like a gel manicure would. Okay, so we have our two coats on and I've had it sitting for like five minutes and I think they're mostly set. They don't, they felt kind of cold at first. I'm gonna go ahead and do the top coat now. I think it'll make it cure all the way or maybe I'm supposed to wait until they're totally dry. I'm not exactly sure because the instructions on the top coat are exactly the same as on the polish color. So not very descriptive if you ask me. Looks nice and thin. Not too thick and gloopy. Here we go. It's picking up a little bit of the color on the brush, so I'm wondering if I haven't let this sit enough. Maybe I'll just let this sit just a couple minutes more. That makes me a little nervous that I'm messing it up and I don't wanna be like 
you know, user error or whatever. So I'll do the other three fingers in just a minute. Okay, so it's been a couple more minutes. I'm going to attempt to put the top coat on a couple of other fingers here. It looks like it did pick up a little bit of the color still. Dang, that's a little disappointing. It's applying very nicely though. It's very shiny. Okay, so I've applied it to all of my fingers, the two coats of the color and the top coat. They are super duper glossy and shiny and they're still a little bit wet from the top coat because I just did it. But so far, I'm really, really liking it. It does have a little bit of a thicker feel to it, just like a gel manicure would. And I kind of like that, but it's not so thick. I feel that I want to like peel it off. And it's still keeping a little bit of a glossy finish, although I kind of feel like the top coat makes it look a little more streaky than when it didn't have the top coat on it. Sounds kind of weird. It kind of like settled in a little bit. Oh, I wish it would pick up. It's probably just showing super shiny. And look at how dry my fingers are. I need to put some cuticle oil on and take some pictures for you guys. But I am planning on checking back in with you and letting you know how these wear. I'm going to be using my hands a lot this week, so they will definitely get the full test on them. And yeah, so far I really like it. The color is gorgeous. And yeah. Okay, so here is what the progress looks like here. It started looking pretty bad last night, which was Saturday night. So today is Sunday, and I did these, what was it, Tuesday night? But they're peeling really bad on my right hand, and I just need to take it off for work because I can't have it chip in. This just started, like, yesterday. I'm going to just try and remove it with regular nail polish remover. See how that goes. They said that it's supposed to remove wear like a gel, but remove like a regular nail polish. So we'll see how true that is. This is how I usually do dark polish it. This is usually how I remove dark polishes anyway. I'll let it, the cotton ball sit on there for a second and then just kind of swipe it off. Looks like it's coming off pretty good. I didn't rough up the surface or score the surface at all to try and let it seep in. It just kind of came right off. Now this is supposed to be a 10 day wear polish. I definitely did not get 10 days out of this. I got longer than I do with my normal polishes so I am impressed with it and I will try it again. I kind of want to try the top coat on top of other regular polishes and see if it's like the top coat is the you know, golden tool. This is coming off pretty good. And it hasn't stained the nail bed too bad. I was nervous about that because there's no base coat. I got lots of compliments on how vibrant the color was, though. So that's pretty cool. It's a gorgeous shade, really. So that is it. Basically, it is a really great polish. It lasts longer than my other normal polishes. And I do want to keep playing around with it a little bit more. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!